Welcome back to my shop. It's gorgeous outside. I haven't been here in a little while because a couple of days ago I was here and I sprayed carb cleaner directly into my eyeballs. Now I'm not sure if I got it on video or not, but if I did, there's no way I'm ever going to show it to anybody because damn I look stupid. Let's talk about the original Gertner carbs that came on these bikes. Some people swear by them, but for me I look at them and I think that they're, uh, they're certainly small and probably slow. So why bother to rebuild them at all? Well, now is probably a good time to start talking about my plans for these bikes. For this one right here, she's got 274 miles on her. She's still got her keys. She's just about original as they come, and I aim to keep her that way. This one, however, while still original, isn't going to stay that way. I'm going to modify her. I'm not going to go crazy. I want her to still look mostly stock. But I also want something that's going to carry my fat ass over 40 miles an hour and be somewhat reliable. There is no way in its final incarnation that this is going to have the Gertner carb on it. But right now, all I'm trying to do is make it start and run and explode some gas. And the Gertner carbs will do that for me. So let's rebuild them. Let's get down to business. The first thing you're going to need to do is remove the 8 millimeter bolt that's compressing the carb collar onto the intake pipe. This one right here. These bolts have been sitting for over 40 years, so a little WD-40 is going to make it a much easier job. Spray it on and let it sit. Five minutes later. Now that the collar on the intake pipe is loose, it's a fairly easy matter to come grab the carb and wiggle and twist it until it pops right off. Like so. Now grab the carb and twist it around until you get access to the flathead screw that's on top of the throttle body, here. Here's where you want to be careful, because as soon as you remove this screw and start pulling, the innards of the throttle and choke will come out, and you want to make sure you don't lose any pieces, parts. Oh, like uncorking a bottle of wine. Now pull down on the choke cable and wiggle it out through the slot that you see right here. The throttle slide is a little more difficult. Grab a pair of needle nose and grab the NARP and pull down and out until it pops out, just like that. Don't lose that spring. It likes to fly. Now the top will slide right off. And here it is. Off of the bike and ready to take back to the bench to get it nice and clean. There are three 10 millimeter nuts that hold on the intake pipe. And now that the carb is removed, you can easily see the first one, right here. The other two are the two studs that hold the pipe to the cylinder. Let's get those off.
Now it's time for a good cleaning. Carb cleaner, compressed air. Put on some tunes and try to enjoy it. It can be therapeutic. It's rapture and it sounds like rock and roll. Rock and roll. Rapture when I want to kick it in. Kick it in. Look at this chump, happily cleaning his carb, blissfully unaware that in about 30 minutes he's going to have a face full of carb cleaner and be screaming and crying like a little girl. What a tool. And now it's time for reassembly. I left everything soaking in a cup of WD-40 overnight, so now I'm going to pull it out, clean it up, and put it all back together. Compressed air is your friend here. I'm going to blow through this rebuild and fast forward, but if you're really looking for a how-to, just keep watching until the end of the video, and there I'll do a step-by-step. -step. Right, now get ready for the money shot. In three, two, one. Oh yeah, and boom!